Can you see that view? Raining over on the mills. Oh, the green, green grass of home. Look at it. That's his view. So even though we're stuck here, yeah, hey, we could be in worse places than this. Mm. Do you see Pat there? She's watching a Poirot that she's seen before and even read the book. <laughs> What? You are naughty. <laughs> she says I'm naughty. <laughs> Look, my wine glass is empty. <laughs> oh, oh dear. what a tragedy. What are you doing? Oh, I'm going to do some country garden soup for our lunch with some more potted meat and spread. Oh, why, that potted meat. <laughs> <laughs> this potted meat she got from this farm shop, it was absolutely gorgeous. And I, I wrote to, to, to them, <laughs> I wrote to them and told them that it was delicious and it reminded us of when we were caught in and my mother and father used to have a supper. Do people have suppers anymore? My mum and dad always had potted meat sandwiches for supper. <laughs> Every well, night. I have sandwiches sometimes. All and... oh, right. And it reminded Pat, this potted meat, it, the taste of it, I had potted meat like that from anywhere else. It tasted just like that potted meat that my mum and dad used to have. Uh, so I wrote to them and I told it's them. Bingham's. Bingham's. <laughs> Bingham's it's called. Yeah, I wrote to Bingham's. And somebody were on to me about being affiliated. And I, I thought, well, how can I be affiliated? I don't... I never buying it. I, I, what could I recommend to anybody that I use, you know? Well, I thought, so I wrote to Bingham's and I, and I told them we loved uh, the, their potted meat and told them a story about my mum and dad. And then I says, I, I, do you have a facility for affiliated members of YouTube? <laughs> where, where if I recommend you, I get a commission if you, if you sell any. I haven't had a reply yet. <laughs> but you never know. You never know. Because I, mean, I don't know of anything that I could that honestly recommend that I've used, you know, that I like. Can't think of anything. So I thought that, that w I could recommend that. Um, People working all day. <laughs> oh, I think manual labour is a Spanish bullfighter. <laughs> <laughs> all right, see you later. Morning, everybody. Well, um, it's been raining cats and dogs this morning. It's stopped now, but it's windy and wild. Uh, we've not been anywhere. I uh, haven't been up to the garage today. I think we're going to go up there tomorrow and see what's going on. And if I can't, if they've no diesel, I'll have to book another night. Um, but yeah, going back now to the 
to the story, um, there's me uh, in my bags, you know, in my ill-fitting uniform. Um, I showed you, <laughs> I did that bit yesterday about the drill. Uh, I, I, that stuck in my memory all my life since I wasn't army that, that when they were teaching us drill. And I just remembered it word for word, that bit. But well, I remember one day we were marching, and uh, and you won't believe this, but some of the guys who joined up with me couldn't march. They literally could not do it. I, I could never understand that, but they just couldn't march, and they had to. They were drummed out. They, they were. We couldn't carry on. Um, and it takes a bit for army to give up on you, I think. It did then, anyway. Um, but we were marching in a squad one day, and it, of course, as my right arm's coming up, the guy next to me, his left arm's coming down. And this guy next to me, every time his arm came down, my right arm's coming up, and he swung it a bit, to, and he cr kept cracking me knuckles. And this this happened a few times, and in end I just shoved him. And the the corporal in charge of us brought us to a halt, and told me to meet him that night in the drying room. I can't remember what time it was. In a great coat and full battle order. Full battle order was a large pack on your back and these two pouches on your front. Um, used to put your ammo in them. Um, and your, great, your ground sheet and got, I don't know what else. I meet him in the drying room that night at a certain time. Which I did. And this, this guy. He um, he had me doing press ups, running on the spot, doing all sorts of stuff. And this drying room is red hot. Well, red. It's w very very warm. Um, it's where you dry. You you do a bit of washing. You dry your clothes in there. Um, it, well, there are heating pipes in there. And he he had me doing all this, and I was just boiling. Um, in this great coat with all this gear on, um, and he was trying to provoke me to to have a go at him, and then I suppose I'd have got uh, put on a fizzer, but he didn't. I didn't. I didn't have a go at him. But after half an hour of this, I was absolutely exhausted. Um, but anyway, that that one that was my punishment um, for that. But the worst one came after. I don't know why I got singled out. I thought I'd be invisible, um, but I I was totally singled out. We we were. I think it was after about six weeks you got your first weekend leave. And you had to have an inspection. And we were all lined up at side of us beds in in what we call the spider. I mean, I don't know, a dozen blokes in each spider. And you had to lay everything out in a, a special order on your bed. And in your wardrobe, everything had to be laid out in a special order. And you just stood there at attention face in front while they inspected you and this inspection took place I think a few days or a couple of days before the the weekend break, the weekend when we could go home on our first leave and uh, you stood there at attention facing forward and you didn't um, um, have eye contact with anybody all these in uh, officers and uh, sort of coming down inspecting you, you had to just look forward and you won't be tired if your eyes wandered, let alone your head. 
all of a sudden I felt a bang on my head. What? It's alright. My wife has <laughs> just hit me on the knee. <laughs> You're jiggling it. Oh, apparently I'm jiggling my knee. I don't want you to be seen as jiggling up and down. <laughs> she don't want me to be seen jiggling up and down. She don't want you to know that I'm a, a bit of a sad case. And that's what it is, isn't it? A saddo jiggles his leg about. Uh, 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 where was I again? Before I was so rudely interrupted. Um, yeah, the inspection. Aye, I got a, a crack on the head. I'll change position. Um, and something appeared in front of my eyes. There. And I was focusing on it. What's that whetstone? Uh, my firing pin, sir. Yes, but what's that on the end of it? Muck, sir. Yes, muck. That's your weekend leave stop. I was the only one to have his leave stopped. Everybody went home that weekend and I was left in that spider on my tod and I had to report to the cook at the cookhouse Saturday and Sunday morning. Well, I did. He gave me an odd job on, on the Saturday morning and told me to leg it. Um, and that night, Saturday night, I went into walking, older shop, I don't know, I got a train, and I went boozing on my own, pub crawling, and I got smashed, and I missed my last train back, and I was walk, walk, walking back, and I eventually I passed this, come by this scrapyard, and I got in this lorry, scrapped lorry with, in the cab, and went to sleep. Woke up early the following morning, got out of this lorry and carried on walking and reported to the cook. <laughs> Took one look at me and says, you're no bloody good to me, clear off. And I went back to Spider and laid on my bed and went to sleep. And one by one, they all drifted back, did all the blokes. Um, yeah, not the first time I got singled out for treatment. Thought I were invisible, but I wasn't. Right, that's my story for today. All right, see ya.